Ready? Hello everybody, this is Lizelle. And this is Tracy. So we're coming to you today from Westport, Connecticut. So this is my first trip to the east coast of the USA and um, it is beautiful here. So it's, I guess it's fall now for you guys and um, the weather has been mild and marvelous and the leaves are just starting to turn. And the weather's getting... This is actually the first time in a week that I have seen blue sky which is very, very nice because I do remember it. I, I grew up here, so I knew they had blue sky, but I haven't seen it all week. So it's great that we're, we have our last day to get together today and we're going to go look at the beach and all my old hangouts and it'll be really fun. I'm gonna get really philosophical now and say, the blue sky's always there, Tracy. The clouds roll away and the blue sky's always there. Will you sing a song? <laughs> blue skies, nothing but blue. Okay, sure. No. <laughs> okay, we take that back. So what we were doing yesterday, we went into New York City to interview an author. Her name is Joyce Short. And is it Short? I think it's Short. Joyce okay. Short. Yeah. Yes, and she's written a book, and a new one is coming out in November. That is to do with. Um, Fraud to get sex is a crime. And it has to do with the date raping kind of situation or date fraud where they pretend which that they are something that they're not to date and get in your pants. They take advantage of you. These are true con men and many of them, she said, are narcissists. So when I heard about her and I heard an interview about her i had to go into new york and meet her and it was an amazing interview we've got a little editing to do when i get back to colorado but wasn't she interesting she was she was a very interesting lady and and one thing that really resonated with me um i, I mentioned to tracy earlier was um uh, she spoke about the concept of when when people are with or in a situation that they don't want to be in, you know, so say, you know, I was in a situation that I didn't want to be in or I felt like I, I, I wasn't being treated as I should be. Um, often people's reaction to that is, well, why don't you leave? Why don't you just leave? Um, and her her response to this was such an in, her concept of it was such an interesting thing for me because it made so much sense. And what she suggested was is that when you fall in love with somebody or you care for somebody it's just the leaf blower have never understood that concept whatsoever but we'll carry on from there um when you are in a situation with somebody where you've fallen for them where you have uh have become physically attracted to them or even emotionally attracted to them and this happens obviously in that in that build-up phase before you start getting treated in a in a lousy or bad way well, like the love bombing stage. yeah um what happens in that is is that that physiological connection is sometimes so strong that it's really hard to override um, with even when bad things are happening um, and that really explained a lot to me um, what she explained was that I'm sorry but there's a chipmunk there and that is so awesome <laughs> squirrel um, so what that really uh, proved to me was that it is you know we are physiological biological creatures and a strong attraction on that level can sometimes really be very difficult to overcome and we're also emotional and romantic creatures and you know uh, most uh, as I have learned most uh, narcissists um, tend to pick out empaths and people who really are caring and so you know the empath or the person who is the carer finds it very difficult to take their energy back and to step out of that situation and I found that very interesting so this lady knows one heck of a lot and she she knows her stuff she really does so yeah she's been trying to she's been trying to change the laws in in states and um, her new book is actually going to teach all of us how to change the laws in our states what language has to be in the law to protect us and um, another part of what, um, what was your name? <laughs> what Lizelle was saying is that we fall in love and we, that there's a chemical reaction. There is something within ourselves that um, 
it, it brings all of the things inside of us to to be attracted to this person and, and they're playing on that right so I just think when you hear her and you listen to what she wants to do that I think that many of us survivors of a narcissist are going to maybe want to support this although it was interesting last night I went we went to dinner with my uh, one of my best friends and her police officer husband I was their maid of honor 30 years ago and as a police officer we talked about domestic violence cases and when they get called and how hard it is for a police officer to you know like see something like emotional abuse you can't see that they can see a black eye they they don't know how to make the call they aren't trained they don't have the skills to recognize when someone's lying and someone's not so it i think it's a going to be a hard push and I think education is still going to have to come way before a law is going to happen. But she's put all the pieces in place and there are two states that currently if you um, date someone and it's fraudulent to get into their pants, then they can go to jail. So it's starting to happen. England has it. So we're working on um, that with her and we're going to bring you her interview in a couple of days. Um, and Tracy, I don't know about what you think, but I, I, I think it makes still a very strong case, you guys, for um, setting your personal boundaries <laughs> before you ever even get into that situation, you know. So, um, so I guess through education as well, uh, teaching people what is and what is not acceptable, but moreover, allowing you to choose what is right for you and not Two. right for you two chipmunks um, <laughs> before you know before uh, you get to that that place where it's difficult to get your take your energy back um, I, I wanted to say something as well um, I just submitted a, well I didn't submit a, a, an elephant journal if you guys have heard of elephant journal there is an article that I wrote on how to you know get over loving a narcissist and um, a, a gentleman made a very interesting point about something you know he, he he read the article and he made a comment saying that uh, you know why is it that he always hears about the man being the narcissist and not uh, the woman dudes I can only write from my perspective and I just happen to be a woman however guys if there's you know we need to hear your side of this too nobody is saying that you know narcissists are pure are only men or that men behave badly people behave badly um, and so, uh, you know, if, if you've got something to say, any of you fellas, please do. Please yeah. do. We'd love to hear it. Yeah. yeah. And we'll be back in Colorado and making more videos. Our big video is coming soon. It's been editing and um, imagine taking like five hours of, of random thoughts and like sticking them all together. And you know, we go chipmunk all the time as well. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're pretty difficult to edit. So her son is <laughs> editing it. So it's a little bit delayed because we like to talk. So stay tuned, that's gonna come. And we're gonna go to the beach now and visit all my old spots. Yay. Thank you. Have a great day, bye. I have to turn it off now. Okay, go. Okay, bye. <laughs>